What's going on everybody? Today we're going to enjoy the sunny outdoors here in St. Louis and this episode is all about things that are trending. So we're going to go crack burgers. What a hot honey ranch dip. Let's get started. All right, folks, we are trying to get this avocado oil here. It's close to about 250. So keeps fluctuating i'm using my meat thermometer here so i don't know how exactly accurate it is because i might be touching the bottom of the pan but it's pretty darn close so what we're going to do now is add in those ingredients at least the beginning of those ingredients and we'll go from there so i've got myself those red chili flakes a little bit of garlic got the sesame seeds and we're going to hit it with a lot of Salt here as well. Basically, we're making we're making that hot chili oil right here to begin with, and we'll come back and add those other ingredients. We're gonna mix this together. You can hear that sizzle in there as well. I'm gonna turn down that black stone. And here in a minute, we're gonna slide it over here off of the heat and add some other ingredients. But I'm gonna go ahead and just turn those burners off to make it a little easier for ourselves here. We'll turn them back on when we need them. No sense in wasting any of that propane. All right, so there's our oil part of the ingredients. So let's go ahead and add in everything else. So we got ourselves a few more ingredients we're going to add in. We're going to start with that package of ranch seasoning. Throw that in there and grab ourselves. I got some, I chopped up some fresh dill. And throw that in there as well. And then we'll go with a little bit. Oh, got a small container here of plain yogurt here of that Greek yogurt. So this is about five ounces of that yogurt. And last but not least, we're going to grab some honey. Now, you could use a regular honey, but you know what? Why not spice things up a little bit? We're going to go with some Mike's Hot Honey. So we're trying to squeeze out about a third of a cup here of that honey. Stop right there. We'll mix it back up one more time. Nice and slow here. I don't need that hot oil splattering on me here. And then what we're going to do is I'm going to pull it off over to the side here. So it'll say slightly warm, but still off of that heat as I use the rest, use some other burners here as we, we begin to make those crack burgers. All right, let's start making those crack burgers. We're going to start with first throwing on some gloves here, since I'm be using my hands to mix up those ingredients. We got ourselves about one and a quarter pounds here of ground chuck that we're gonna start with first. And from there, we'll add a few more ingredients as well. Now there's a few different variations, obviously, of this crack burger recipe trending currently online. This is kind of like, Kind of those most common ingredients you would find in that crack burger. So let's go ahead and throw that ground beef in there. And then next we're going to do is we're going to throw in what will be about a third of a cup of sour cream. Got myself a little bit more of that ranch seasoning as well. I cooked up that bacon earlier on the Blackstone. Now, when I made that bacon, I actually put on just a little bit of honey hog hot from Eat Church. I just love that seasoning when I'm crisping up that bacon as well. And then I crumbled it up, so we'll throw that in there. And then we're going to look to take ourselves and put in about a cup of shredded cheddar cheese. Now, for that shredded cheddar cheese, you can buy the pre-shredded stuff, but just know that it has that coating on it. Just does not taste as fresh and as good as when you buy your own block of cheddar. 
Plus, to be honest, it's a little less expensive when you do it this way as well. And you're already making all these ingredients. Why not spend that extra 90 seconds shredding that cheddar for yourself as well? So we're going to get this cheddar shredded in here. And then what we'll do next is we're going to blend all of this together together and start making ourselves kind of those meat style balls that we'll use for those patties on the blackstone i'm going to treat it today more like a smash burger style as well so we may add more than one patty to those buns all right my friends there is all there's that cheddar in there nice and grated much better than buying the prepackaged stuff with this. Much, much better. So we'll take this, start to blend it together. We'll just kind of massage that, all those ingredients for a few minutes here. And then we'll come back and make those patties. All right, friends, we got those all nice and rolled up, ready for us to do a little smash burger action with that crack burger on the Blackstone. Let's take them on over. All right, friends, as you can see, I have moved that hot honey chili oil with that ranch dressing seasoning in there off to the side that we're going to use that dip later. So this burner I've left off. I got three other burners going on here. This burner I've got going on a lower heat right now because we're going to use it to toast up those buns. So anytime I'm doing buns on the Blackstone, I always use an avocado mayo instead of butter on the inside of those buns. So we're going to go ahead and put those on there and get them toasted up. And while those guys are toasting for just a moment here, I've got those hamburger balls that I made here those crack hamburger balls so we're going to go ahead and add those on here let those start to get a little bit of a browning on here before I begin to smash them a little bit as well and as soon as these things hit the blackstone you can smell that cheese and that ranch seasoning holy cow smells awesome All right, we'll continue to let these go right here. Stir that oil a little bit as well. I'm going to I'm gonna have to be honest, you guys. I'm really excited about this. Like, these are two things I've seen kind of trending YouTube, Instagram, TikTok the last few days. And I've... I'm telling you, I'm here for it. So I wanted to do everything all together at once. I figured, why not make the crack burgers? We'll make the dip. We'll dip them both together. You cannot go wrong, right? So, all right, so we, let's start to begin to smash those burgers. So what I, I had a little bit of oil on the bottom of this and had it warming up. So let's hope that helps those patties from sticking to the bottom as I begin to smash those down. Oh my goodness. My go Friends, I hope you can see what I can see right here on this Blackstone. Holy cow. These look delicious already and they're not even cooked yet. You see that cheese? You just know that cheese is going to ooze out the sides and get nice and crispy. Cannot wait. All right. So those are ready to roll. Let's take a glimpse and see how this. So I got a slight little browning on the outside. I want to leave a little bit of that mayo texture on the inside. So I'm going to go ahead and get these off the Blackstone. Oh, yeah. Perfect, my friends. Perfect. I love, love, love toasting those buns with that avocado mayo. If you've never done that, you have to try it at home, friends. Have to, have to, have to. Highly recommend it. All right, we're going to let these burgers go for here for a moment. Then we're going to flip them over and then we'll start that plating process. All right, friends, we have flipped over 
those crack burgers. They won't take very long on the other side as well. And then we'll get them on the plate. All right, friends, we are going to begin plate these. I'm going to go actually double patty. So I'll put the bottoms of those buns on here. We're nice and thick with these bad boys today. All right, I'll slide these two off to the side off that heat. I'll put them on another bun here in just a moment. Let's take them on over and get all the finished product taken care of. All right, friends, so I put double patty on those buns. You can see those crispy edges. That cheese got nice and crispy as it oozed out the side as well. These are probably about medium in the way we cook them now, amount of the amount of minutes we put on each side of those. Tops of those buns are ready as well. So let's get all of everything else we need ready to plate. So you're free to add any other ingredients, of course, to your burger. It's a burger. So if you want to go lettuce, tomato, some more mayo, whatever you want to do. For right now, I'm just going to go ahead and lay those tops right across there. Oh, yeah. And then what we're going to do next is I took some of that hot honey ranch chili oil. So we're going to put that right there in the middle of the plate as a dipping sauce as well. And when you got burgers, why not grab some chips? So St. Louis, old Vienna chips. Can't go wrong with the red hot riblets or any other style. This is just kind of the honey barbecue. So we'll add some chips on that plate for ourselves. Now, when you make this sauce, rumor has it that it's also a great sauce with just fries, mozzarella sticks, some onion rings. To be honest, I, I think I might make it again when I do some bacon wrapped onion rings on the smoker and then dip those in there. You can't go wrong with that bacon, onion rings, that sauce. Oh, probably delicious, friends. All right. So before we get ready to give it a taste test as well. I'm going to go ahead and open up my beverage. And now, I remember I mentioned the very beginning of the episode, we were talking about what's trending this week. So we know what happened this week in regards to um, someone passing away. So in, in honor of that, you know what? I thought I'd go and grab myself from Narrow Gauge Brewing here in the St. Louis area. This is called their OJ Run. Let's open that up. This is an incredible IPA beverage as well. I'm going to give that a taste test for you, my friends. Oh yeah, just as delicious as the last time I had it. Very citrusy and an awesome beer. It won't run away from you, but if you drink too many of them, it might kill you. You never know. So, all right, so let's let this cool for a moment and we're going to give it a taste test. All right, friends, moment of truth. Let's try out that crack burger with that hot honey ranch dip. Let's dig on in. I'm gonna grab this one here, that double patty crispy edges around where we smash that burger on as well we'll dip it in that sauce oh friend incredible incredible now i see now i see what the hype is all about these crack burgers holy cow i mean remember like as a kid Watching those commercials said, just say no to crack. My friends, say yes to crack burgers. Holy crimey, this is good. You're going to love the burger. It's even better with that dip. Blending those worlds together, my friends. Things that are trending currently, you're going to love it. I'll drop links to recipes, everything else you need in the description of these. And this one today, you're going to absolutely love this on your Blackstone. Easy to make. Holy cow, friends. Once again. There are those crack burgers with that hot honey ranch dipping sauce there. We hope you guys enjoy this episode. Like always, we love it when you hit that subscribe button. That's how we know you like what we're doing. We'll see you guys again on Bones and Bruce.